Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Mabila Matebula. <laughs> hey, how are you, Ten and Virgin? Uh, Why, thank you. We, we are very, very well. Thank you so very much. Now, Virgin is laughing at the fact that I'm saying that um, when love is gone, uh, it means hate comes in and uh, the beans get to be spilled. You didn't put it yeah, in I, 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 I can't agree with him more <laughs> because today we are going to talk about the spontaneous regression of consummate love mm. you know as you know that love is made out of three components mm. mainly intimacy passion and commitment mm. and what happens is in the process in your relationship you might lose those elements mm. Mm. and then end up in a divorce court mm. or end up being separated or end up being actually murdered mm. and then now we're going to talk about that you know that where is your love, you know, in terms of, you know, the regression part of your relationship. Mm. And and this being a hip-hop show, um, Dr. Madibilama Tebula is not talking about the Black IP song, Where's the Love? No, <laughs> no I just said. <laughs> <laughs> you had to. <laughs> I just, I just, no, I just have to. And I'll, just watch what I just, <laughs> I'll give you that one. <laughs> so when you are intimate with your partner, what does it mean? Yeah, being intimate means that mm. you are close, mm. you know, there is physical union, mm. you can kiss, you can make love, mm. you are you are close, mm. you are nearest mm. and dearest. Mm. But once we take intimacy out of the equation of love, mm. we, we tend to see particular behaviors. Mm. And, and one of the behaviors would be social distancing. Mm. You and your partner, you are miles apart. Mm. You no longer do things to go together. Mm. You don't do sh any shopping together. You don't hold hands. Mm. You you sleep in different bedrooms. Mm. You also create artificial barriers mm. in the bedroom. Mm. Now, those are the behavioral indicators that such a relationship mm. lacks intimacy. Mm. And uh, last week, you also we also spoke about the fact that that relationship becomes fatuous relationship. Absolutely, because you are only left with only two components. Mm. You are only left with passion and commitment. Mm. And as you rightfully said, it's a fatuous relationship. Mm. It's a very stupid relationship indeed. <laughs> it is a stupid relationship. So what happens when there is passion in a relationship? Well, passion, you mm. know, simply means that, you know, there is this deep, uncontrolled sexual feelings, mm. you know, mm. and, and, and such, a relationship, such a relationship. But once you take it out of mm. the relationship, like, mm. for example, once you take passion out of, of the relationship mm. and you take intimacy out of, of the relationship, mm. you are only left with what we call empty love, mm. you know. Because you still remember, you know, we talk about regression. Mm. I spoke about intimacy is no longer there. Mm. Now passion is no longer there in a relationship. Mm. And now you, have, you only have empty love. And what are the behavioral indicators? Mm. People start cheating. Mm. And there are perpetual arguments. And as you know, that arguments kill love. You know, once people start arguing, it means that the love has been killed by a bullet. Mm. So, um... An example now of uh, somebody who leaves his wife and go into a relationship and even leave the, ha the house and go into um, somebody's house in the same street. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. When, when, when I grew up, I saw a situation in the same street where, mm. you know, a, a member, maybe a man, Mm. would leave his entire household mm. and live with another woman on the corner. And by then, I was young, and I didn't actually understand that, wow, how could a person leave his entire household and live with another woman on the corner? Mm. But now I actually understand that it means that that relationship had no intimacy, had no passion, mm. and the man had to leave. Mm. Now, when there is commitment in a relationship... What is it that you take, Dr. Mabila Matabul? Well, when there is commitment, it means, you know, there is responsibilities. Mm. There are responsibilities, there are some obligations, mm. you know, in, in such a relationship. Mm. 
But now, if uh, your relationship has regressed to mm. an extent that there's no intimacy, there's no passion, and there's no commitment anymore, mm. you, it's no longer a relationship. You are in an emptiness situation. It's a situation. Is does does it mean that is there anybody that take accountability in that relationship? No, there's no accountability. There's no responsibility. It's just an mm. empty shell thing. Mm. You know, it's it's not a relationship. You are no longer in a relationship. You are in a situation. Mm. And what are the behavioral indicators? Mm. Less communication. People mm. don't communicate. Mm. A smile is a rare commodity. Mm. You, know, you don't actually smile, you know, to each other. Mm. And then people seek solace in religion. Okay. You know, a person now becomes a, a committed you know, Christian and say, I now love Christ. <laughs> you know, because there's, there's no other alternative. Wow. You know, now they look for something to love mm. or they become, you know, attached to, uh, to their children. Mm. And then in such a situation, because there's, no, there's, there's nothing, there's no relationship anymore, mm. Mm. people may end up separating. Mm. People may end up killing each other. Mm. And people may end up in a divorce court because no passion, mm. no intimacy, mm. no commitment, mm. no relationship. You are, in an, you are in an empty shell situation. And then you, you also end up with what is called physical abuse and financial cheating. So what will be the financial cheating? Yeah, you end up with physical abuse because mm. there's nothing. You know, you abuse mm. one another physically and mm. also financial cheating where you mm. you control your finances mm. individually. You decide mm. what, you, what you want to do with your money without your, your, your partner mm. knowing. Mm. You know, there's that, you know, financial cheating mm. where you, maybe you channel resources to other to other sources that are only known to you. And um, there used to be what is called fire. So basically, it will mean that uh, uh, the fire is no longer burning, or if it's burning, it's, uh, uh, it's fading. Well, well, I, I think it started burning when the relationship was still, you know, when you still had, you know, intimacy, passion, and commitment. Mm. And now there's no fire. Mm anymore you only have ashes mm. and 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 the and the bad thing about ashes is that uh they are not strong right they just yeah. they just crumble down mm. yeah you know there's nothing mm. there, there's nothing and if for example in in shangan or shitsong or whatever they call it mm. they often say that um mm. it means that you need to enjoy Mm. You know, but what is it that you enjoy? Because there's nothing. So you there's nothing in such a relationship. There's nothing. There's no intimacy. There's no passion. There's no commitment. It means there's nothing. So, in other words, you are being advised to endure all of the abuse. Yeah, that's why you'd find that you know people start abusing each other because mm. there's nothing. There's nothing to do in such a relationship. Mm. You are in that relationship not because you want to. You are in that relationship because maybe you have to. Maybe you don't have an alternative accommodation and the like. You find yourself being being with this partner of yours. That's why at the end of the day, you end up separating or you murder each other or you divorce each other. Mm. Now, abuse has got... When people abuse each other, we need to understand why are they abusing mm. their partners because there's nothing. The, the fire is no longer there, as you have said. Mm. But if maybe you are you are you, you have got this you know consummate relationship mm. you know it means that the fire has been lit and and that fire will prove impossible to extinguish. But if there's nothing, mm. there's nothing that you can do. And vision can now relate to what we are actually saying. And then I think it's a warning to him that if there's no intimacy, you must do something about it. If there's no passion, you must do something about it. Mm. If there's no commitment, you must do something about it. To fix your relationship. Mm. Thank you, Doctor <laughs> <laughs> Um He just say thank you, and he started smiling. So um, now, what do we have? What do we have today in our vocabulary cabinet? Well, we have got two words, and the first, the first word is choleric. Mm. Vision, vision. I know he actually say choleric, but 
is pronounced as Kaleri. And I did say choleric. You are right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it means mm. easily made angry mm. or or bad tempered. Mm. An example could be Moses mm. was a servant of God, mm. but he was highly choleric. Mm. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Easily yeah. made angry. Mm. Generic. And then mm. n- number two. Before we go, two. before we go there, uh, Doctor Matebula, um, I, I just want to also operationalize it as well, right? Um, K two uh, is a very very good um, director, but he is highly Caleric. choleric. If you if you don't bring the red head, if you don't. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, Dr. Um and then you, you you were saying the next word is bespeak. Mm. To bespeak is to show or be a sign of something. Mm. And an example would be vision skills mm. at singing bespeaks much good training at VMC. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's a feather in your cap. It's a feather in your cap vision. Mm, the uh, only that uh, vision can rap, but um, when he sings "Happy Birthday" song, Doctor Mabila Matebula, oh, yeah. oh, you will want, you will, you will want, want to, to switch off. Your <laughs> you want to celebrate your birthday, Doctor Matebula? My singing is not that bad. Out of ten, I give myself like a number. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Mabila Matebula, um, you know. Uh, as a good car show, Uto was a fool. Da. Rolibo Badu Matebula. That was Dr. Mabila Matebula. Thank you so very much. And then um, next week, what are we um, talking about? Well, ne- next week we'll be talking about more about assertiveness as mm. well as the Tatem Kulu syndrome. Because today we didn't actually have anything about Tatem Kulu syndrome, but oh. we are, next week is about more of, you know, assertiveness. And also, we are also encouraging people on our Twitter handle mm. to to give us more suggestions. Maybe they've got problems oh, that they'd yes. like us to address. Please, mm. you are welcome to address. Mm. And Vision today, as, as Stan was talking about the birthday, I've got a friend of mine, you know, today it is his birthday, but he's a, he's a revolutionary. Mm. And I had to give him revolution, a revolutionary birthday. How difficult it was! <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you did not put Vision onto a spot and ask him to sing Happy Birthday. But uh, nonetheless, I am my backup singers. N- nonetheless, uh, Doctor Mabilama Tebula. No, thank you so so. Thank you so very much. Um, you are right. Those. Um, uh, I mean, uh, we are. We want to encourage our listeners um, to also suggest some other topic regarding matters of the heart with Doctor Mabilama Tebula. You can. Do that uh, on my Twitter is at Stan Muraudi. Uh, on my Facebook is Boneni Stan Muraudi. And uh, um, with Dr. Mabila Matebula is at uh, Mabila Matebula. And uh, Genesis is art. Uh, if we have to uh, go to Instagram, and uh, you can also SMS us, WhatsApp us on the number 0624508619. It is 1632 right here at VMC Planet Radio. The show is called Second to None. Thank you so very much, Dr. Mabila Matebula. Thank you, guys, and enjoy yourselves. Thank you.